up everyone and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we are going to be doing the Raiden Shogun's quest. Genshin update this week. We have Fontaine long. now, but we're we're gonna have to take a while to get to it because I still have to get to Sumeru. And also this this is beautiful. I love this. This this new character like team builder. Oh my god. This I love it. I am in love with this. Also, log in to Genshin. You'll have it's uh I don't know if I still have it. But like it's No, I don't think I have it anymore. But, it'll be in your events, and you'll be able to also unlock Lynette. If, if you were thinking about starting soon, starting playing Genshin soon, I'd suggest you do this. Just because then you get the character for free. I don't know how long she's going to be claimable, or if she's going to forever be claimable, or if it's going to be like a year long, a like... There's going to be like a certain time period where she will no longer be claimable. Like, uh, uh, Alloy? 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 I don't know how to pronounce her name. I've never played Horizons Dawn, I think is the game she's from. Because with this account, I don't have her. Because this account was made very shortly after she was no longer claimable. And I should have made the account sooner. Like... But yeah, I'm just saying this right now. If you're thinking about maybe starting Genshin, I'd say get on and just make sure you're able to claim her while you still can. And now we're going to go over to the statue. Because Toma's over here. I wonder what's going on. If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. I hope you can understand. Exactly. So let's keep the discussion going and see if we can find a solution. Hey, Toma! What's going on? Yeah. Ah, uh, hello you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. What a coincidence. Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ippe. Sounds like you guys are having some trouble. Well, the Tri Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. Hmm. I hear that storm represents the Shogun's will. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? So her will's changed and she wants to destroy Inazuma now? Or is this her way of trying to get revenge on us? That would be a little childish. We came to a pretty great and perfectly ending discussion last time, so it'd be a little bit weird. Paimon, don't tempt fate like that. Which would also be pretty scary. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liyue's god left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. I mean, that is a pretty valid concern. Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if and when it arrives. Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. Ooh. 
The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. Everyone knows that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the Almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore. But there's still work that has to be done. <sighs> if Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through. But now... My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time, and I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm failing to quell the unrest. I mean, that's not really your fault. It's your father's fault. And the other clans having distrust in the Kuju clan isn't your fault either. It is still your father's fault for betraying them. And the Shogun. Don't blame yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't cope with any more instability in its current state. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. It mustn't cause any more issues for him. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susumu, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one capable of taking charge of the situation now. <sighs> I suppose. Well... Okay, no problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. No need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, uh, okay. Take care then. Come back soon. Hmm. If you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation and the issue with the Tenryo Commission have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take some time off, right? Yeah, we should probably go talk to Miko and see if we can go see the Shogun, honestly. If things carry on like this, people will start to panic! Maybe we could invite her out for a while. Huh? You can actually do that? Yeah, listen, we're pretty special, actually. Don't know for sure, but we may as well try! Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she's in. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you, then? Yeah, sure, why not? You know, everyone's worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. Yeah, I'll try. <sighs> Thank you very much. I owe you one, again. The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! Absolutely. Reflections of Mortality. Miko! Miko! There's my favorite person. How are you? I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? I mean... You definitely already know what I'm here for. So, I wanted to ask you something? <sighs> How cold. I saved your skin, didn't I? Surely you could at least humor me by engaging in some small talk first? Then again, I suppose your frankness is part of your charm. Oh. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder! Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will, so people are worrying that something might be wrong with her. And the Tenryo Commission needs her attention since she still has to deal with the betrayal from the Kuju clan. <sighs> Alright, there's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? That's a little hard to believe. Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Oh... I could hardly bear to see her that way. Yeah, it also doesn't feel like that's a way she would act. You expect us to 
even believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like that? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. But, like, also, I super don't believe you, but, like... <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. A seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine, right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. Maybe she's gone a little stir-crazy? I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. Well, you should make an exception. For me, because I'm special. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? Do it for A. <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest. But since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. Okay. Oh, jeez. The almighty Shogun has requested solitude. No visitors allowed. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko. Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers like yourselves. Okay, but could you open your eyes and look at the permit? Guji Yai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her, and her alone. Wait, this is... authentic! Feel free to check with Miko. Understood. Then as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Since the Shogun is resting at this time, please be especially respectful. And make sure your behavior is impeccable. Thanks, my dude. Look how she's pacing back and forth. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? Stir crazy. Although, to be fair, I also pace randomly, so it's not like it's that weird. How did you get in? Through the door. Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Wait, no, it's us! Why are you treating us like we're your enemies? Because this isn't her, this is the puppet. This is totally the puppet. We made amends, didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means! Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. Forbidden? Why? That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Uh, what do you make of this? She's acting strange, huh? Do puppets really need rest and relaxation? This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Paimon gets it. So this is all A's doing. But why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. Everyone's worried and wants to see you. I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. Uh, what do you mean by that? Hmm, it has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. <sighs> what should we do? It feels like this conversation is going nowhere. Have you malfunctioned? Oh, it's you too. It's been a while. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. Gladly.
Hey, I'm so happy to see you. I mean, she did. She said to come in and talk to her. I mean, I figured we were coming here. I don't... Huh. It's not your first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. So, is the shotgun broken? Are you gonna get it fixed, or...? Don't worry. The shogun's not broken. I've just temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me, so the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. So that's what she meant by forbidden. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity, and thinking takes time. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Paimon, she, she, she's a puppet, not, not a robot. No, she was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. You're so strict with yourself. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that Eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Oh, Paimon gets it now! The thunderstorm's getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been disabled! Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. You and Paimon tell A about this. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You tell her about the storm and the issues with the Tenryo Commission. You can fix it, right? It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. So everyone was worked up over nothing, at least. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. Yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. That's fine. Just as long as you can fix it is all. Any progress on your thoughts about eternity? <sighs> not much. As before, I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. What if we went for a walk? Hmm? If everyone sees that the Shogun is in good health, it'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest! And you also need to, like, get out of here for a moment. And who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration! Uh, you mean, leave the plain of Euthymia? You haven't left in a long time, have you? It's unnecessary, as far as I'm concerned. But since you're inviting me, a change of pace might well be nice. All right, then. I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. Okay. Can consciousness actually leave this place? It's still... it... Paimon... I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Oh, great! Then there's nothing to worry about! Allow us to be your tour guides. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you tips on where to eat and how to have fun! Alright, let's go, go, go! Go, go, go! <sighs> There's a familiarity to the scent in the air and the firmness beneath my feet. Hmm. Now, time for a change of pace. 
Where should we go? Oh. Paimon, where are you thinking? I mean, obviously it has something to do with food. Because it's Paimon. There we go. Is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Oh, the stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's the Shogun. What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Not... Mm. Well, what did you expect? The Almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit. Yeah, it seems like a bit of an overreaction. Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. See, Miko made a comment near the end of our battle with A about how the people of Inazuma don't want eternity. They want her divine attention or divine sight. But, and she was referring to visions. But also, she's also re referring to the fact that the people of Inazuma actually do just want to see A. Because, well, Venti and Zhang Li they are known in their community, but they aren't known as the Archons. But A is. And there's something about the people of Inazuma actually being able to see her and recognize that she is still well is a really good thing for the people of Inazuma. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? I don't think there'd be any such thing as low-profile. Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. Uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? Yeah. People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plane of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Well, let's just say anyway, Morax. People seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the Almighty Shogun. Hmm. Oh. What is this stall selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. Just letting her pathing go. Yeah, it's just a food vendor. Sh Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's alright. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is in fact my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. Hmm. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. 
When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Ah, oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Because it's not the same shogun that you're used to. Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. All right, we all drink the dango milk. Mm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <gasps> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please. Don't take it the wrong way. Ah, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. Hey! <laughs> what? No, no, no. Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I. Uh. <laughs> Do you want another cup, eh? Oh, I would l No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. Would it be? Ah. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Absolutely. Sure! Let's go and have a look! Sh Shogun! O Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management or publishing regulations or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The almighty Shogun wishes to read light novels? Yes. Yes, she would. Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public. And the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? Yeah. In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Yeah, the Almighty Shogun just wants to have a look. Calm down. Well? Okay then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. 
I'm a little concerned that you're saying that. Okay. Let's go then. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles. So why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long. It is. Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device. Narrative device. It's whatever the author wants it to be. So it's made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Charles can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Babs have no place in eternity. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. Perfect. Alright then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. Alright, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. Alright, well... We can only pick from here? Okay. Life made me a fighter when I just want to be a writer. The book is a martial arts story set in leeway, focusing on fighting between different gangs. The protagonist aspires only to be a hum become a humble novelist, but gets caught up in the world of gang strife because of an unparalleled martial arts ability. The selling point of this story is that the protagonist never joins any faction, but is constantly assumed to be the reclusive master of one faction or another. The martial arts pros who see the protagonist as their enemy are always making a scene. The protagonist is stuck in the middle of all this, all the while clinging tight to the dream of becoming a novelist. What a strange person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Because there's something about creating your own world and watching it in your mind play out the way that it wants to. Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world. It's all about the journey. You do have a point. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? Probably. A daily life romance story. The chaotic epic that is the tale of my youthful love life. I don't think A is going to like this one. This book is about the love stories between a very mediocre man and seven beautiful women. I don't think A is going to like this one. It is a chronological account of the protagonist's daily life featuring many amusing anecdotes. Anecdotes. Sorry, English is hard sometimes. The writing is solid, the prose is elegant, and the author brilliantly brings out the unique charm of each character in this story. But the story stops at a crucial moment when the main character's childhood sweetheart is just about to confess their love to him. <gasps> the suspense is killing Paimon! Paimon only skimmed through, but Paimon can tell this girl has loved the main character with all her heart since childhood! I hope she finds happiness. Yeah! She has so much love to give! She deserves it! The plot is really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? No. Shogun Al- Oh god. Shogun Almighty, reborn as Raiden with unlimited power. 
In this book, the protagonist is struck by lightning beneath a thunder sakura and wakes up to discover that he has become the Raiden Shogun. Prior to this event, the protagonist is a nobody who gets bullied by everyone, but after becoming the Raiden Shogun, he acquires unlimited power. The appeal of this one probably lies in the euphoria of going from powerlessness to omnipotence, and in the protagonist's inner journey to finally breaking free from their low self-esteem. But it's hard to see how the story would develop after the protagonist literally becomes the Raiden Shogun. With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. Uh, Paimon thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Yeah, but it also doesn't paint the Shogun in a bad light. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. Fair point. That's all of them. Let's try to explain them to A. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. The martial arts story. You relate the story of life made me a fighter when I just want to be a writer to A. Goodness. Are people in Liyue really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to spar with him. Uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonists, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in the story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behaved foolishly? What can I say? They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. End of story. Uh, A doesn't seem interested in the supporting characters at all. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai publishing house, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. It's human nature to see... Uh, change is inevitable. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out, to take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. Don't mention it. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Well, why don't we take a photo? Wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it. Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay. Come with us. We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean. the best spot to take a photo? So, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you! Just leave the hard work to us! All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose! 
Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir. Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? That isn't really answering the question. The photo is a visual representation? Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Ah, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. <sighs> this isn't coming naturally to me at all. Well, I feel like graceful and dignified is a very base of what she generally looks like. Okay, I'll try that. That works. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. All right. We're waiting for it to get darker out. Not necessarily darker. I need the sky to look different. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a wrap! Take a look! Here's the photo we took of you! Wow. This is astonishing. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be... another copy of me but she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk it's just a record i thought it would turn out poorly because i felt rather rigid but it actually looks more natural than i imagined the pose is exactly the same and so is the scenery in the background i can't imagine how it's achieved that's what makes it so special hang on I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? It is... you. If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Uh... Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler! It's a little bit like you and the Shogun. Hey, that's right! Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. So your existence isn't singular. My existence? Hmm. Ah. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? Inazuma will always be Inazuma. Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Right. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the statue of the omnipresent god were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. <clears throat> Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! 
And that means that we've done a really great job as her guides. Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Hmm, why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep, let's find out what's going on. Sorry, eh? I know we were supposed to have like a calm little day, but... Well, with the Traveler that never really seems to happen. Ipe! Ah, it's you. I... Huh? The... The almighty shogun? You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? Hey, I am very... It's okay. Ah, I'm not shoot, here sorry. to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Are you looking for your master? Yes. Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamaji. A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies. Since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamaji is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamaji? Forgive us, Almighty Shogun. The Kujo Clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo Clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um... <clears throat> you have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So... Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takatsukasa Clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? Actually, they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. I do not have a good feeling about this. The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa. Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Maybe something's happened? Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. But someone of my rank can't just go venturing into Takatsukasa clan territory like that. We can go check things out for you. No, no need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Almighty Shogun? Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me, and I shall be the one to finish it. That's commitment right there. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. You do that, Ippi. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. Me too. Alrighty. We gonna be going on a flight. Oh no, just kidding. I didn't realize I went down here. <laughs> There always been an electroculus there? Maybe I just don't go this way? Ooh, spooky. Hidden mountain base. Oh, let's do this. Eee! 
It looks so good! I just love this so much! I'm going to continue reacting like that all the time. Whoa! Look at how well hidden this place is! I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. Maybe to evade detection? I feel something that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Huh? We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. With you on that one. Yes! And we get A. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You were saying? Why are they roaming here? This is a trivial commission base. Something is not right. We must remove all those who stand in our way. That was very interesting. Imagine seeing what is literally basically a god. Right? Because, well, I mean, it's an archon. And they have actual gods that they name, like Celestia from Celestia. Oh my goodness, why are there so many of them? Um, but seeing what is basically a god and going, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fight it. It's my lucky day. Really? Are you Going somewhere? Okay. What if I do surrender and be gentle? Animal test sixty three oh eight. There we go. I gotta keep my uh, catalyst users because they they absolutely wreck anything that happens like that. Now you shall perish. Yeah, what were you saying? What were you saying?
Almighty Shogun. Shogun? What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the Almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. Descendant of the Kujo clan. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. Says who? Why, you two-faced... You're going back on everything you said! I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the Almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, y yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo Commission to offer our lives in service of the Almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. A... Uh, sorry, a duel with the Almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo Commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. Oh, oh. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Hey, you already got him on the rocks. You don't need to keep pushing. Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh, well... Well, never mind. What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 uh. Does not a single person dare to face me? <sighs> I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shogun. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I'm sorry, I just need to take a moment to... Oh my god, the Raiden Shogun's hair is so pretty. Like, do you see that? That dark blue going to that light purple is such a beautiful like ombre oh my god i wish dyed hair stayed longer in my hair so i could actually do this i accept the kujo clan's decline as punishment for my teats i can't even say that i failed to prevent it because in order to fail you have to have at least tried to be brutally honest for someone of your strength there is nothing you could have done even if you had tried. 
Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. And I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, then right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamachi, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless, but I accept. Come forward. Okay. The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, almighty Shogun. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shogun's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Dude, A has got to be pissed from being, like, betrayed from the first time from the the commission which she trusted like do you see that shake oh understood thank you almighty shogun for your wisdom and mercy that will do i will have the okuzu meshu continue the investigation from here come with me let's find a quiet place there's something i want to talk about with you yeah let's go Leave domain. Whew. When a 
it's time to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. I love the way the statue looks from here. This would have been a great scenic spot for a picture. Like... Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. Maybe that's what he was expecting. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but he has shown me how some things remain the same even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. So will you rule in Azuma directly? I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun. All the awful rumors will disappear in no time. If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. Next time, we'll bring you some fun little trinkets. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. But you so obviously do. Oh dear, I'm turning into Miko. Maybe we should stop hanging out. Okay. I'm ready to head back now. My period of solitude will now continue. But it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end. The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko. Yeah. Miko, we're back. Miko, we're back. We had a great trip. Did you now? Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. You tell Yay Miko about the various things that happened. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. You and the Shogun enjoy teasing each other. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she has finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take. That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. Like the Heavenly Principles? <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. 
Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. Like I said, I think I'm turning into Miko. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. And reflections of mortality have ended. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, actually, I might have enough to do a temple of the... I might have enough to do a temple of the regular. Hold on, give me a second. Oh yeah, with the shop resetting, I have more than enough. Hold on. Uh, which, sorry, I'm losing my head. We've got 14 since the shop did a reset. All right, 10 pull on this. I don't know if I'm due for another five star, but maybe we'll see. Nope, purple. That's fine though. I hope it's, I don't know if I want it to be a weapon or not. <laughs> Because if it is a weapon, that means one of my characters gets a new weapon. Because there are some of them that are still with uh, three stars. Or it could be a four star character? Oh my god, it's her? She's adorable! I for Oh my god, she's so cute. Yes, give me the cat people. Yes, I'm okay with this. I was making a joke to myself, like, yesterday or two days ago, about how it seems like the animal- Why is my voice so loud? Hold on. I was making a joke to myself, like, a couple days ago, about how it feels like the animal four stars have chosen me, considering I now have- I've got Sucrose, I have Lynette, and I have Faruzan. And I was like, well, it kind of feels like the Cryo Four Stars are choosing me too because I have Layla, I have Rosaria, and I have Diona. Maybe it's just the Cat Four Stars. Or the Animal Four Stars? Because, hold on, Diona, Lynette, uh, Goru, now Kirara. Feels like that means we need to get uh, <laughs> Miko. <laughs> oh, wait, we got two! We got two? Is that Rust? Ooh. Those aren't actual ears. That is a bow tie. Huh? That is a bow. Oh, that was adorable. That is a bow. Those are not actual ears. They do give the appearance of being ears because they have that little fluff ball. It kind of like reminds me of horses uh, at like shows because you'll, if they're more sensitive to noise, you'll put those little fluff balls in. To help keep them from reacting poorly. I do like her hair, though. I didn't really take that much time to look at her hair. But I do like her hair. I don't really like... This feels a little bit weird. That empty space. Here, hold on. Actually... Before we do anything, I want to see how she fights. Like what her sword style is. Anything you need delivered? You cannot tell me I don't need her in my party when she looks like that. That is adorable. Oh yeah, that's this. And also, I can climb up walls? Yes. That's funny. Um, I don't remember what her... Her thing is, what her alt is. I know it's not alt. I don't... 
I'm sorry, I don't remember what the actual name is. Yeah, no. Um... I might be figuring out a new team right now. I might... I might have already figured out a new team. <laughs> um, but, anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. Getting a new character is a lot of fun. I love gacha games because of this. It, it fuels my happy little soul <laughs> by doing this. Um, but, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, that'll be Tuesday. We will be going into the chasm, so be sure to check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the other side.